The serial positioning effect refers to the tendency to recall the first and last items in a list more easily than those in the middle. This effect consists of two main phenomena, the primacy effect and the recency effect. Both play significant roles in how memory functions during tasks such as learning, advertising, and even day-to-day decision-making. The primacy effect refers to better recall of items presented at the beginning of a list. This happens because early items get more rehearsal and are transferred into long-term memory. When the brain is not yet overloaded with information, the initial items get repeated, allowing them to become more firmly encoded. This is crucial in educational settings, where structuring information to emphasize key points early can help learners retain critical concepts. Advertisers also utilize this by placing important messages at the beginning of a commercial. If you're getting value out of this video, consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss the next video about how psychology affects our day-to-day -day life. On the other hand, the recency effect describes how the most recent items, typically at the end of a list, are also recalled more easily. This effect relies heavily on short-term memory. Since these items are still fresh, they remain easily accessible. However, if too much time passes after encountering the last items, the recency effect can fade quickly. This explains why cramming before an exam might yield short-term benefits but fail to ensure long-term retention. The interaction between these two effects creates a U-shaped recall curve when plotted, with the first and last items in a list being more likely to be remembered than those in the middle. The middle items are often subjected to interference from both early and late items, reducing their chances of being retained. While primacy relies on long-term memory processes, recency is connected to short-term memory. Studies suggest that by disrupting the short-term memory, that is, by delaying recall with an activity, the recency effect diminishes, while the primacy effect remains relatively intact. This highlights the different cognitive mechanisms at work in each effect. Understanding these effects has practical applications. For educators, arranging lesson content to emphasize key takeaways at the start and end of lessons can improve retention. Similarly, in public speaking or marketing, Placing important points at the beginning or end of a presentation leverage these natural memory biases. In conclusion, the serial positioning effect, driven by the primacy and recency effects, reveals how memory favors information presented first and last in a sequence. Each effect relies on different memory systems, with primacy benefiting from long-term encoding and recency taking advantage of short-term memory. This insight has been applied to areas ranging from education to marketing, showcasing the value of understanding how memory functions in different contexts. And now I'm inviting you to learn more about how we can apply psychology in our everyday life by watching one of these two videos. Until next time, stay sharp.